Hi, this is Tony, and one of the most frequent questions I get asked about ChromaScan is about photo metadata. So I wanted to do a quick little video about what it is and how ChromaScan uses it and how it can help you. So before we get started, let's do a little experiment together, just for a few seconds. Now, close your eyes and think about any photo that you own. Can you see it? I bet you were thinking about a time or a place or a person, right? I think you can find any photo in your library if you can search on one of those three areas. And photo metadata helps you do just that. Let me show you how ChromaScan uses photo metadata to make your scanning experience way better. So here's a scan of a photo I've recently taken using the ChromaScan Lightbox, but instead of the Chroma app, I just used the iPhone stock camera app, um, similar to how you might take a, a photo of a photo. Now, it looks pretty good because the light box provided good lighting and aligned it well, but what I'm interested in showing you is the photo metadata. So over here, you'll see uh, the date that the computer thinks this photo was taken. It's just a couple days ago. The problem is, is this doesn't match the content of the photo. Uh, this photo was actually taken in 1957, um, but the data that I'm seeing here is merely the date that the photo of the photo was taken. The same goes for the geotags. This photo has geotags not for where the photo was originally taken, but for the location of my office uh, in San Jose. Also, there aren't any keywords related to the person that's in the photo. And now I want to show you um, how Chroma Scan can improve the metadata for this photo. Let me walk you through how I scanned it. So I'm going to scan this image with Chroma Scan, and I'm going to tag it using our voice recognition engine, Chroma. The date is August 1st, 1957. The place is Honolulu International Airport. Letty Peter. Capture. So here's that same photo now scanned with Chroma Scan. You'll notice that it has two dates. The first is the capture date, and the second is the more important of the two. The date time original in this case, August 1st, 1957, is the date that computer programs and mobile devices and web services use when they try to figure out how to organize this photo, among others. Because ChromaScan was able to match this date with the content of the photo, it will show up in the right chronological order in your photo library. The same applies for the geotag. When I told ChromaScan that the location was Honolulu International Airport, behind the scenes, we looked up the exact GPS coordinates of the airport and embedded it into the photo. This means that this photo is now searchable by location. Also, in this keyword field, we've added the city, state, and country, as well as a keyword for Letty Peter, and now this photo is searchable by her name. So what this means is that photos scanned with ChromaScan are searchable by anything that looks for metadata in the standard location. For example, here in Spotlight, I can find Letty's photo just by typing her name, or I can find it just by typing Honolulu. Likewise, photo organization programs like Apple Photos and Adobe Lightroom also take advantage of ChromaScan metadata. Here I can easily find Letty's photo out of the 40,000 I have just by typing in her name. All the metadata is imported, so you can search by city, state, or country, and even the GPS coordinates from the airport are retained. So in short, ChromaScan makes it easy to tag the photos that you scan with searchable metadata that can be used to find and share your photos later.